Kingston, Pennsylvania. A real happening place. If you happen to enjoy living in a town that's located next to a town that has one of the highest crime rates and drug-related crime rates in Northeast Pennsylvania. It is the Workday Drive Time Hot Edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants! <laughs> hey everyone. Don't know why this camera's doing this. This is like messing up big time. I don't know, it's acting really slow or something. But anyway. How is everyone? I've got rant. Well, when don't I have to rant, right? Exactly. And as no surprise, I am ranting once again about millennials and the younger generation. But, surprise, surprise, well, that's right. I'm not going to rant about Planet Fitness. No, no, sorry, Bobby. I'm going to rant about, girl, please. Millennials at the YMCA! Yeah! I haven't been to a YMCA in like a long, 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 long time. And uh, they've got this thing like, it's like sort of like a guest membership. Like you can go there, it's like 10 bucks that you should go there and use facilities and all that and stuff. And uh, when, uh, my nephew Hyper Armadillo was talking to me. Somebody who's 25 might see you naked or something. I don't know. Who the hell knows what the reasoning is behind that. And then you have the other dressing room area for like, I think it was like kids under six or something like that. Or some weird thing like that. And then you have the universal one that actually has changing rooms. Interesting. But anyway, that's because the world just got screwy. While the rest of the world has gotten very open, you know, Pete. In other countries, people aren't ashamed of themselves and their body like they are in this country. You know, we're, we are so, like, brought up to be ashamed of everything. It, it's ridiculous. I'm surprised people even show tattoos that they're not ashamed and cover them up. Of course, there's some people with tattoos out there that should be ashamed and cover them up, but that's a totally different rant. Anyhow... Anyway, my my point is, you know, uh, my thing I always say about Planet Fitness is all these guys that, like, don't get showered and stuff like that. Well, here's a good one at the Y. And it, it, it it's actually interesting at the Y. Guys are a hell of a lot more open than they are at Planet Fitness. Let me tell you, nothing beats walking into a locker room with a, with a bunch of guys, seeing a bunch of guys, 40s, 50s, 60s, it's just... Everything hanging out, just talking away. Hey, Bob. Hey, 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 hey. But you know what? That's the way life should be. There, there should be freaking openness, especially if you know people. What the hell's the big deal? You know, you're talking to your neighbors. So what's the big deal? But anyway, uh, here's the best one. Is it, watching these guys that are like... In their, in their, hey, well, from 
let's say 18 to 25, say, they use the pool. They use the pool, and um, they go they go to get showered afterward. And it's actually funny. I was la I was just laughing my ass off about this when I saw this. I couldn't believe it. Not to sound like a weirdo, but I had to do a double take because I couldn't believe it. First are guys that go that go take a shower with their underwear on. Because they you know, maybe they were working out. They didn't go swimming, they were working out. And I'm scratching my head at that one. I'm like, okay, but at some point you you okay, so will you take a shower with your underwear on because you're afraid some other guy's gonna see you, but at some point you've got to get changed, unless they dry themselves off and wait for that to dry, who the hell knows? But then they got the one people, the ones from the swimming pool. First of all, I don't understand this whole thing of like wearing regular shorts and uh, wearing like a pair of boxers underneath. I don't understand that whatsoever. But here's what I'm getting at with that. It, it's so bizarre seeing guys that uh, they jump in the shower with their boxers on or with, with their swimsuit on. Whether it's a regular swimsuit or uh, like a pair of the jammers. And I'm like, what the hell is up to that with that? What the hell are you cleaning? Are you doing your laundry too? Is that what it is? You you can't afford a washing machine. Like, well, what the hell is up? I can see if you were rinsing off your bathing suit because of chlorine and stuff like that. Like, especially if it's a darker color. You know, you don't want it to fuck it up. I understand that. I don't get the point of taking a shower with your bathing suit on or your underwear on. I don't understand. I don't know what the logic is behind it. Because if you want to use the logic that, well, it's so nobody sees me naked. Yes, but you do have to get out of that wet stuff eventually. In a locker room area that's very open. I, 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 I think I'm going to just start being a, a nosy prick and actually go up to one of them and ask them. Because I don't give a shit anymore. I really don't give a shit anymore what anybody can I don't care. Says people out right, I don't care. Dude, like, what's with showering with your underwear on? What the hell is that? Are you really a girl or something like underneath? Like, what's, so here, which also brings up another thing I want to know. Comment below. I, I don't know if I really have any female subscribers, but if anybody knows the answer to this one, does this shit go on in the women's locker room? I mean, I can't really picture it. I don't know, but though, like, does that type of shit go on there too? And if you're one of the ambags out there who actually do that, that are just like, you know, deadly embarrassed that somebody's gonna see your ass or something like that. I, mean, I don't know. Comment. I, I want to know what is the reasoning behind it. I don't understand the reasoning behind it. You know, I under, I get that majority of the people out there are just brought up the way society has us, that we're supposed to be afraid of our bodies, we're, uh, and that we're supposed to be very, um, modest and everything. You know, like, I mean, I understand, I understand, you know, if it was a kid, for example, I guess I understand the embarrassment there, you know, or, you know, you 12, 13, something, I can understand, like, in a locker room area like that, you know, you're embarrassed because your your other friends are becoming men and, you know, nothing's happening yet. I understand that. I don't understand adults that do it. I, I don't understand adults whatsoever. Which would bring up another question. Do you do that when you go to the doctor or something like that? Like, I, I don't understand, like... Or something, you know. I, I don't get it. You know, the doc, you go to proctologist or urologist or something. You know, and you know it's time for them to say, okay, drop your pants and cough or something. You know, like what exactly is going through your mind then? I, it's another guy or girl, as it is, be it. You know, who's a doctor? Is it because of the doctor? It's okay for them to see you. Like when you're in the hospital, is it okay for people to see you like that because you're in the hospital? Don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, 
short little silly rant there. Comment below. I need some rant ideas. I need some product review ideas. I need some destruction video ideas. Really? And yes, I said ideas. Gotta love my accent sometimes. Comment. Come on. And click the box here, there, somewhere. That thing that says really useful box of your first time person here. And you had the misfortune of maybe typing in something wrong. And that's how you came about finding me. Click that box. You'll be sucked into my world. Subscribe. All right. Anyhow. And I love copying this message now. I'm Frank the Lunatic. I approve this message. And that, my friends is all I have to say about that.